Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. You've got a plan for saving your money. Question is, do you have a plan for spending it? Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money. The Worry-Free Retirement with offices in Louisville and Bowling Green. Your host, five-time author and fiduciary, Tony Walker. Welcome to the Worry-Free Retirement. And yes, we're at mistake number five. If you're just now joining us, we've been covering in detail the book, Don't Follow the Herd, a book that I wrote and was published in 2010, and we're covering the seven costly mistakes people make with their money, and of course, how to avoid them. Let me ask you a question. How much money is enough? I really mean this. How much money do you need to retire on and still be able to be worry-free? Now, I bet if you go back in time and ask yourself, let's say when you were age 25, uh, let's say you're age 50 now or whatever, you'd say, Boy, if at age 25 I only made $50,000 a year, that would be plenty of money. So then a few years later it goes by, and you're looking at the $50,000, and you say, oh, I'm a little older now. Boy, if only I could make $75,000 a year, that would be plenty of money. That would be more than enough. Maybe you're looking at your 401k plan. Maybe 30 years ago you said, Boy, if one day at age 65 I had two, $300,000, that would be more money than I would ever need. And then now you're 65 and you look at your 401k and you go, oh man, if only I had five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars $700,000, I promise that's all I would need. But one of the most frequent questions I get, you know what it is? It's in this vein, but nobody asks it this way, but they'll say, Tony, here's what they're really asking. I've worked hard for my money, but I really don't know how to use and enjoy it. I don't know really if I've got what I would say an abundance of money an abundance of money to live on while I retire, abundance of money to meet my expenses, and an abundance of money to hopefully leave something behind when I die. But you know what? That's not really what you're saying. You're saying, do I have enough to simply get by? Because when you think about it, that's really all we need. All this other stuff is just stuff. Let's think about this a minute. What do you need for today? You need a little bit of food, and you need a little bit of clothing, maybe a lot of clothing, depending on how you look. <laughs> you need a little bit of water. Maybe you need a little bit of comfort, like a warm bed. You know, I think about these poor people in California. I just lost everything they have to this raging wildfire, and that's probably all they want right now. They're not worried about all their possessions. They just want a little bit of food, a little bit of water, and some place to sleep. Well, welcome, folks, to the Worry-Free Retirement. This show is dedicated to helping savers worry less about money. And what we're doing today is we're diving in to this age-old question of how much do you need? And more importantly, in step five, let's put up step number five, the mistake people are making with their money. No game plan for using and enjoying your 401k or IRA or other retirement accounts. Because folks, that's the whole point. You know, last week we talked about stockpiling all this money up and really we don't have a plan to use it. Today we are actually gonna talk about why it is so important to use and enjoy your money. And part of this starts with how much do you really need? You know, I've been starting these little mini workshops. In fact, we call them lunch and learns. We just had one here in the Louisville office and we have just a few people. We had about five people there. And uh, that, that the dilemma for a lot of people is, Tony, can I retire sooner than I think? That's the name of the workshop that I hosted. And what we're basically talking about is the first thing you gotta decide if you're gonna retire, especially if you're going to retire sooner than you ever thought possible, you better have a handle on what is it you really need, right? Yeah, I mean, you don't want to just go into retirement and have no idea what your cash flow needs are. So you have to have an idea of what you need. Problem is, if you're trying to talk to a retirement planning specialist, well, there's not many people trained in this area. Uh, we've done this for years. We've got thousands of clients. I have hundreds of appointments a month when I meet with people. And so first of all, you have to have somebody that understands retirement planning. The second thing you need is an advisor who is well-schooled in taxes, who understands social security, who understands annuities, who understands 
uh, investments, who understands when to take money, when not to take money, and finally, you have to have an advisor who has the tools, and we do. It's called the Worry-Free Retirement. We have software and all the tools available to help you feel like you're successful enough to spend this money, here's the key, without the fear of running out of it. You know, it's amusing to me, sometimes people will come in and maybe they've been to a dinner seminar, maybe they've even recently purchased an annuity or some other investment product. They bring all their stuff in and the first question they ask us is, Tony, you know, what am I supposed to do with this? And I say, well, how can I help you? And invariably, this happened the other night. Someone came by a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they said, Tony, I went to a dinner seminar years ago. They put on a great show. I had a great steak dinner, by the way. I ended up turning over my 401k to them and I bought all these annuities. He had this stack of annuities, literally like five annuities. And he said, I really don't have a clue what I'm doing with these. And I said, well, why don't you just go back to the person who sold you the annuities? And he said, I did. But that person apparently has turned over all the business to a bunch of, he called them young hirelings. We talk about young hirelings in the book, Don't Follow the Herd. But he said, these young hirelings, I don't think they know much more about what I'm wanting than, than I do. What he was trying to find out is how to deal with what's called his minimum distributions. So he has these annuities. Uh, he's asking someone for help in terms of where it's best to take the minimum distributions out. You don't have to take them out of all five annuities in this example. And I said, what if I told you that I have a full-time person on my staff, all she does is make sure that we maximize your RMD. In other words, if you're age 70 and a half, we deal with that required minimum distribution and we do that at no additional cost to you. And he said, I'm sold, I want you to handle it. So we've put, it, put together a game plan for this gentleman. We did this for no cost. Uh, we're gonna handle the annuities, but we don't get paid for that. But I told him, I said, I'm gonna take care of this. I'm gonna make sure that if something happens to you, your wife as well understands how to handle these annuities. Now that is a retirement planning process. I showed him the information today and his wife said, honey, she was looking down at our game plan. She said, this is what we've been looking for. They've just not been able to get it from anywhere. A written game plan. So assuming you're ready to retire or maybe you're already retired and you're looking for a change, uh, maybe you're sick and tired of being passed off to the young hirelings out there and you need a financial advisor with some experience, somebody that's gonna sit down in person and talk to you in person, how to handle your IRA, thrift savings account, 403B, and yes, even your lump sum pension, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because I'm gonna take you through our options, the five steps to the worry-free retirement, and I'm gonna show you how we can help you make sense of this, and at the same time, feel like you can use and enjoy your money without the fear of running out. I'll be right back, you're watching The Worry-Free Retirement. Are you retired or retiring soon? Can you afford for your money to take a hit with the stock market being so volatile these days? Nobody can time the market, but having a retirement game plan with Tony Walker Financial gives you peace of mind and sleep insurance. Learn how to prevent losses in your retirement accounts and plan your retirement around an income you can never outlive. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com today to schedule a personal meeting with Tony to secure your hard-earned money. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Hey, what about this? If you had a choice between being the top scientist in your field or getting mad cow disease, what would it be? Well, of, of course I would choose to be the top scientist in my field. Oh, good. I was worried you'd choose mad cow. Oh, man, that's a funny skit. Will Ferrell playing Harry Carey. And we're kind of talking about mad cow disease. That might be how you feel right now with the markets bouncing all over the place. You can't get any money out of your 401k. So maybe there is a little mad. Oh, all right. One more time. Hit it again, Aaron. We got to watch it. Hey, what about this? If you had a choice between being the top scientist in your field or getting mad cow disease, what would it be? All right. So we're on mistake number five. We're talking about the book, Don't Follow the Herd, the seven costly mistakes people make with their money. And guess what? I was just talking to... Aaron's faithful sidekick, Matt Stebbins, and in the break, he said, Tony, man, we got to offer some free copies of that book. We're going to do that. Here's what you do. The first 25 people that go online this weekend only, all you do is go to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. You're going to see that little book section. 
click on there, enter your information, we will mail you. Listen, no catches, no gimmicks, nobody's going to show up at your doorstep. We will mail you an absolute free copy, hard copy. I'm not even going to autograph these. 25. Matt, Matt can't believe it. Uh, believe it. He's, he's blown away. 25. We're going to send out the first 25 people of the book, Don't Follow the Herd. TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Click on that book section and we'll get one of these to you. All right. So here we are. We're at uh, mistake number five. No game plan for using and enjoying your 401k or IRA. So how do we do this? What are our options? So let's assume you're 59 and a half. That's really the magical age because lots of things happen at 59 and a half according to the tax laws. First of all, if you draw money out of an IRA prior to 59 and a half, there's a 10% excise tax penalty. We got to remember that. Now, sometimes in our planning, people retire sooner than later. We'll even go on and incur that or we'll do something called a 72T. Not going to get into that. There are ways to avoid that tax penalty. But nevertheless, at 59 and a half, that's when many people start or can start drawing money out without the 10% excise tax. In addition, this is a good one. If you're sitting there with a 401k and you feel like your money's all locked up and you're tired of the roller coaster ride of the stock market, if you're 59 and a half, there's a really, really good chance that the plan document, that's what governs the 401k, will allow you to roll that thing over to somebody like us, even if you're still employed. Now, to me, I don't know why you wouldn't do that. I don't know why you would just leave your 401k to chance and go it alone when you can move it to us and there's absolutely no cost or taxes to do that. What we do, we roll the 401k into a split IRA concept. And you say, well, why would I do that now, Tony? Well, here are some options. Number one, here's a great option. Why wouldn't you consider, if you need it, taking some of this money out now versus later? Folks, there's nothing really magical about 59 and a half. There's nothing magical about this age of 65 or 70 and a half. All these ages are imposed by either the government or they're imposed by the financial world who really would like to kind of control your money. I mean, let's face it, the age of 65, that's the quote retirement age everybody shoots for. Well, that was started back in the 30s. A bunch of politicians were coming up with this notion of social security. They didn't think anybody was going to live to 65. So they said, yeah, we'll pay them at 65. Again, they didn't think anybody would live then, so that's the, that's the retirement age. That's how retirement, the age of 65, got started. But what if, what if rather than waiting to draw money out of your IRA or 401k, you drew it out now, now versus later, and you say, well, why do I do that? Because you have an, an opportunity between 59 and a half and 70 and a half to take any amount you want out, We'll help you understand the taxes. We'll make sure you don't pay too much in taxes. Remember, we're in an age, depending on your income, we could be in the lowest tax bracket in a long, long time. Let's show that tax bracket real quick here, Aaron. And again, this tax bracket shows that the majority of the people's income that I work with who make under $100,000, again, we're assuming you're retired or nearing retirement, will fall into what we call the 12% tax bracket. With the new standard deduction, with the new tax brackets, again, folks, we may not, I don't know for sure, but who knows, but we may not see taxes this low when we get to 15, 20 years from now. In fact, I don't think there's any way. I was talking to a CPA the other day, and he agreed with me. He, he says, Tony, I just, in fact, he's doing, we talked about this, Roth conversions now on his own money because he just doesn't think these low tax brackets will hold up. So again, you could roll the money to us. We could take some of that money out now versus later. Maybe I had this happen the other day. Someone said, Tony, my wife hates work. She's burned out. She wants to be home with the grandkids, <clears throat> help with them. I said, what about you? And he said, I'm fine working. And I said, well, why don't you keep working? Okay, she loved this. Why don't you keep working? She was over 59 and a half. We'll roll her money out into the split IRA concept and we'll start sending some money now and delay her social security. He said, can you do that? I said, can you do that? We could do that in a heartbeat. And that's what they're going to do. We have Lisa on staff. She's certified in social security planning. She'll at no cost. We don't charge anything for this. We'll help you decide when to take social security. But the deal is we're enjoying some of that 401k now rather than later. Second option you've got for your retirement accounts is to wait until 70 and a half. That's when you turn 70 and a half and the government says you've got to start taking it out. That's when they want their taxes. And quite frankly, this is what 90% of the people I meet do. 
They don't know what to do with the money. They're afraid of the taxes. They don't know how to invest it, where to take it out, deal with the taxes. So they just put off the pain. I call this the tax tumor. You know, it's the same thing. You go to a doctor, you're diagnosed with cancer, and you can put it off if you want to, and hopefully it doesn't grow too bad, but the problem is it's going to eventually kill you. Well, that's the way taxes are. They are going to get their money, folks, so that's fine. If you want to put it off to 70 and a half and take your minimum distributions, we can do that. We can help you with that, and we can try as best we can to deal with the tax tumor. Uh, by the way, this is what came up early in the last segment. If you didn't catch that, we were talking about it. A gentleman that had purchased a bunch of annuities after attending a Demeter seminar and is getting no help on them whatsoever. This was the very fact. He wanted help on figuring out where, he's already 70 and a half, but where to take the money out and from which annuities. And we're going to be able to help him with that. The third option for this 401k to use and enjoy it is to what we call insure it. That's right, folks. You know why I'm a big proponent of life insurance? It's because if I have the life insurance, which I do, I have a good amount of life insurance, I know I'm going to die. The premium is locked in. I've got whole life. I don't have any of this term insurance, so I know I've got the life insurance in for the rest of my life. I know I'm going to die. The insurance is going to be more than I put in. That's guaranteed, so I'm going to make some money on the money. I know that it's outside of probate. It's outside of taxes. I can do some great planning with this, but more importantly, for old Tony here, I can use my annuities and convert those annuities into mailbox money. So while the annuities will never run out of money for me, the thing with an annuity, which a lot of people don't talk about, is there may not be any money in that annuity left when I die. Yeah, I could live a long time. My wife could live a long time. So this way, I got my cake and eat it too. I can draw the annuity out for the rest of my life, guaranteed. Got my mailbox money. I know that as long as I leave it there, it's going to be there and good for me. Then, not if when I die, uh, if I die, when I die, I know that there's going to be a bunch of cold, hard, tax-free cash that I can leave behind for my wife, Susan, or if she's not still around, I can leave it to my kids or even my grandkids. It's a wonderful opportunity. So we can show you how to take pennies on the dollar, insure the 401k so that when you die, we're going to leave tax-free money to your family. You can't do that, unfortunately, with an IRA or 401k plan. Now, the last option, and we touched on this. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. You could go watch past episodes, or we've got a video on this. But the last option to using and enjoying this money is to possibly convert it. Now, there's something you've got to be aware of if you do a Roth conversion. The problem with a Roth conversion is you've got to have a strategy in place with the other monies. Because if you convert a Roth, in other words, if you take the IRA and make it a Roth, you have to wait five years before you can use the money. So you might say, well, Tony, that sounds contradictory to what you just said. How can I use and enjoy the money now if I'm going to do a Roth conversion? Well, what it's allowing you to do is once you get past that five-year window after you convert it, then you can take all that money out without any taxes. So let's think about this. You have a $300,000 IRA. This was the example we used the other day. In fact, you can kind of see the B-roll of this. This was the uh, actual video. Matt, can we actually get to keep that video on the website? Matt's saying, yeah, we can put it up there. But this kind of shows your Roth conversion. But the idea is, as I gradually convert that IRA to a Roth after the five-year window, then I can take tax-free income or mailbox money for the rest of my life. So it allows me to use some of my money now and then get hopefully tax-free money later. The idea is to do a conversion. What you've got to make sure of, though, is that you're thinking, like the CPA friend of mine, you're thinking you want to do this because down the road, taxes might go up. You see in planning, folks, uh, we're concluding this particular step, but you see in planning the idea of how much money we're going to need, how much money is enough, how much is an abundant source of revenue for us, will depend on how much money you have. And what our job is, where we're different, where I think I'm different, is not only the philosophy behind the Worry Free Retirement, but the way we go about programming the process. So when I'm meeting with people, here's the first thing I do in our process. The first thing I do is clarify your vision. What I'm trying to figure out is it's not a matter of what I want, it's what you want. And how much money do you really need to live on based on your circumstances? For instance, let's take somebody that is truly burned out on work. They've got to count the cost. We might be able to help them retire early, but they may have to cut back on other things. It just depends on how important it is for them to retire early. So that's what we do when we meet. We clarify your vision. That's the first step of the process. 
And I've literally, I can document this. I've met with thousands upon thousands of people. I'm really good at helping you clarify your vision and then setting up the goals to accomplish what it is you want. Then the second phase of our process is we actually provide an assessment. Now during this assessment, we use our proprietary worry-free retirement software to show you how we're going to use the money. You know, one of the scary parts about retirement is most people don't have a game plan. They don't know where the money's going to come from. They don't understand the taxes on it. And then they don't know how long the money's going to last. We will show you that. The third step of our process, which I think is really kind of cool, we don't put any pressure on you. This is not a sales process, folks. We don't, you don't have to buy anything with us. What you want to do is take that written game plan, think about it, and you know what? You're the one that has to commit to it. If this is something you want us to do, we'll help you with it. And that's really the best part because we go to step number four. That's called the implementation of the process. We contact your 401k administrators, we, administration. We fill out all the paperwork. We help you get a game plan around the social security. Uh, we go get the money. We transfer it over. If you need life insurance, we do all of that for you and make sure, along with your RMDs and all that, that everything is in line and taken care of. And then the final step of the process, and I think this is the most important, this was what the one gentleman didn't get from the dinner seminar deal. He didn't get anyone that truly was monitoring his progress. You know, folks, the old saying, service after the sale really does come into play at Tony Walker Financial. That's why we want the opportunity to work with you. I commit to you, if you do business with us, we will be there to service the sale long after the sale. So take advantage of our offer to meet in person. Go to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, log on there to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and just click on that Let's Get Started button and we'll make that happen soon. Well, what does the Bible have to say about enough money? And what does it have to say about abundant amounts of money? Good stuff coming up. I'll be right back, but I got to get me a cup of coffee. Tired of the roller coaster ride of the stock market? Let Tony Walker show you how to smooth out the ride with your money. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and let's get started. Tired of getting up every day and heading off to work with no end in sight? I'm retirement specialist Tony Walker and I've helped lots of people retire much sooner than they ever thought possible and maybe I can help you do the same. If you're over the age of 50 and have at least $250,000 to invest, schedule your free meeting with Tony to see if you can retire sooner than you think. Simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. All right, welcome back to the Worry Free Retirement. Interesting topic today, how much is enough? And again, we've been covering the fifth mistake in our book, not using and enjoying your 401k. Again, real quickly here, free giveaway time. 25 of these we're going to give away. The hard copy of Don't Follow the Herd, go to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, click on that book section, submit your information, we'll mail you a hard copy absolutely free. All right, so how much hay should you have in your proverbial financial barn? Well, the Bible talks about this a lot. Even Jesus talked about this and the idea of having enough and having an abundance and when you think about an abundance, I guess you have to ask yourself, well, what is an abundance of something? Now, Webster's defines abundance, I like this one, as an ample quantity. Ample quantity. And basically what it's saying is enough to get by on. Uh, as we said earlier, I mean, what do you really need to get by on today? You need a little bit of food, a little bit of water, some clothes on your back, a place to stay to get out of the weather, maybe a warm bed. But as far as the bare necessities, that's it. But is that really enough? Well, there's an old saying about this. It says a luxury once enjoyed soon becomes a necessity. What that means is, yeah, baby, as we get older, we want more and more and more. You know, God knows exactly how we feel about this. And he knows that he can always give us what we need at just the right time. It's called providence. And in his economy, it's always in abundance. Let's turn. This is an interesting letter that... Uh, Paul wrote to Timothy in 1 Timothy here, and let's go over to 1 Timothy 1.14. Paul simply says to Timothy, And the grace of our Lord was more than abundant with the faith and love which are found in Christ Jesus. 
Interesting words. You see, friend, no matter how much you have, you can't keep it. It's never really enough. And if you want to go out and compare it to everybody else in the world, have at it. But I'm not going to do that. But God doesn't do that. He says enough is enough. My grace is sufficient. There's enough love to go around. There's enough stuff to go around. And when it's your turn, I'll make sure you have enough. I don't know about you, but when I look at my own life, I look back where I started out. I remember my father-in-law offered me an opportunity in the insurance business in 1984. Bless his heart, and I was trying to make it in the radio business. I had a psychology degree. That didn't take me too far. My wife was working full-time as a nurse, and he offered me a job at the insurance agency in 1984, making $11,500. You know what? That's a lot more I was making selling radio ads. I tell you what. And then I started making more money and making more money. And there came a point in my life where I realized, and I'm kind of at this point now, all right, this is plenty. God continues to bless me. And it's funny, the more you just continue to work hard and stay the course, it does take time, folks. You've got to be patient. The more he will bless you. So here's my point. Regardless of where you are right now, you've got enough. Now, can you always have more? Well, sure you can. But what I would rather say at this point in our retirement planning process, this is our philosophy, let's look at what you've got and let's make sure we're making the most of what you got. Let's be good stewards with this money. Let's make sure you're not paying a bunch of extra fees. Let's make sure you have a plan in place for dealing with taxes. Let's make sure the insurance premiums you've got are not too high. And more importantly, just as we've said, let's not let time get away. Let's figure out a way to use and enjoy and protect this money you've worked so hard to accumulate. So how do we do this? How do we go about this? Well, as we said earlier, that's the best part. It's very easy. All you do is log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Now, when you click on that Meet with Tony button, one thing's going to happen, and it's real simple. That information is going to go to our offices in Bowling Green, Kentucky. It's all confidential. We don't give your information out to outsiders. Our office will contact you, and you and I will meet in person, or at least we will talk by phone. Guarantee it at either our Bowling Green or Louisville, Kentucky offices. So take advantage of this free offer to meet with me in person. Do it now. Do it today at TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's program. I've really enjoyed being with you. Next week, remember, we're going to cover mistake number six in our book, Don't Follow the Herd. I'll look forward to seeing you then. You remember, though, between now and then, if all else fails, you be worry-free. Thank you for watching The Worry-Free Retirement with Tony Walker. If you need a safe and simple game plan for your retirement, log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and schedule a free, no-obligation meeting with Tony.